So these are sharks. Let's talk about the hagfish's number one defensive tactic. So imagine that you're a shark and you go down for a bite. Dun, 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 dun. Got him. Nope. Ah. Dun, 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 so dun, 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 that dun, dun, dun. exactly is the strategy that it would take. So they're not extruding the slime to prevent the shark from biting. They're doing it as a response to the bite. And what happens is exactly what you're seeing. It clogs up the shark's mouth and gills and makes it so the shark can't breathe. Ah, so, I'm suffocating! Yeah, theoretically, they could kill a shark with this. So when that shark does that initial bite, mm -hmm. grab that, it's super sharp. Razor sharp teeth are only puncturing a bit of the hagfish's skin because its body moves around within this loose casing of skin. And because these guys can survive a real shark bite, we're not doing anything that's hurting them or uh, you know doing anything that, that's bad for these fish. They are able to survive way, way, way more than this without really being phased by it. Look at this. This is exactly what Pat's talking about. I mean, this slime is incredibly viscous and the fibers that are within the slime is what makes them sort of hold on to this rigidity. Yeah, the slime is really unique. It's not like the stuff that you made as a kid out of glue. The slime is actually like 90 something percent seawater. Okay. But it's, it's really, really thick and viscous and just completely unique to anything else in nature.